Hello, friend. Mormo here. Today I'm reviewing the movie The Undertaker from 1988, starring Joe Spinell. And uh, it's a slasher movie about an undertaker whose business is hurting at the start. He explains that, like, everybody's taking vitamins and... Uh, the Surgeon General warns people not to smoke and that they increase, they may, they, the cops are going after drinking and driving and everything and that it's really hurting his mortuary business. There's just not enough dead people for him to make his living anymore. So he decides he's going to drum up more business. And uh, goes about starting stalking people and slashing people. The movie starts out at a um, gym. And there's like 80s music. And there's this woman with huge hair singing this song on stage. It's like cuts of this woman on stage. And then cuts to all these really attractive women working out. All these attractive physically fit 80s women and uh, they're all working out and stuff and then uh then uh one of them gets topless and this movie has a lot of great like 80s boobs in it which i thought was awesome it's not that gory but it does have a really high kill count and um but there's also this subplot, and I don't know if this movie was meant to be like a remake or a retelling of The Corpse Vanishes by Bo Lugosi, but uh, Joe Spinell, whose name is like Uncle Roscoe in this movie, he goes to a midnight screening of The Corpse Vanishes over and over again, and he's got a VHS tape of The Corpse Vanishes. And they actually use footage of the corpse vanishes a lot in the movie. They show a lot of footage from the corpse vanishes, so I'm not exactly sure. And from what I read, this was an unfinished movie. It was made in 88 and unfinished. And then they released it on DVD in 2010 with a new edit. They had to re-edit it. And so there were scenes where, like, the audio didn't match up, and there were scenes where the audio repeated, and there were scenes where it seemed like there was action, but it wasn't actually Joe Spinell, like, murder scenes where you didn't see Joe Spinell, you just saw the guy getting killed and stuff, so... I'm not sure how much footage they reshot for this movie or what they did or how they worked it. I'd really love to find out more of the backstory of this movie because I thought it was pretty entertaining. Um, I'm a big fan of Joe Spinell. It's actually one of my big dreams is to get rich and then get Maniac 2 made where I would be starring as Joe Spinell or... Mr. Robbie, I think is his name, and Maniac 2. That's one of my big dreams, is to get that movie made one day and star in it and stuff. So I'm, I'm real interested in seeing all of Joe Spinell's movies, you know. But just because I think Maniac 2 has such an awesome story, and I'd love to read the script. I'm not sure if you can get the script online, but... It has an awesome story, just one of my dreams, and so when I found out this movie was on Amazon Prime, I decided to watch it, and it was pretty entertaining. It did talk about necrophilia quite a bit. Um, there's this teacher teaching a class about necrophilia. I don't know what kind of class it was, but, and then Joe Spinell gets called perverted by his nephew or whatever, and so... It's kind of implied. Thankfully, it's not shown. I don't think I could have handled that. I'm not feeling well today. I actually took a sick day at work. <coughs> so I'm glad this movie didn't get real graphic in that way. But uh, 
It was a highly entertaining movie. I enjoyed it. It had a lot of issues, you know, but hey, that's the 80s, you know, people. It's an 80s independent film, and I guess you can't really expect it to be perfect. It's kind of a miracle that it got released at all. I guess Code Red put it out on DVD back in 2010, so... A lot of work went into bringing this move, putting this movie out at all in the first place. Years later, after it was initially filmed, uh, I thought it was a good movie. It was scary. Um, people, he just, it didn't have a whole lot of story. Just that opening explanation of why he's killing people, and then like. He'd kill somebody, somebody would try and investigate. He'd kill them, somebody would investigate that murder and get killed. And Like, there was a lot of that. And like I say, it had a lot of great 80s boobs, so that was enjoyable. And uh, overall, good film. I recommend it. Check it out on Amazon Prime. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Please comment, thumbs up. And uh, thanks so much.